Hey, welcome back to Tom's Day Trips. Today, we're in Route 11 in Newfield, Maine at the Moulton Mills Sawmill. Built in 1790. Still operational to about 1970s. And it's pretty deteriorated. So let's view it and explore. So come with me today as we adventure on. Thank you. Okay, here we are at the front view of it, down by the water side. I'm going to get a quick view of what's going on. And it definitely seen better days. It was an active sawmill back in 1790 when it was built, up to about 1970s. So we're going to walk in. Be very careful because I'm on the edge of the water. And we don't fall in. This is mid-November so there's ice starting to build up in the water and basically the lake is on the other side that feeds this sawmill. The lake is Haven. Let's go and scan up here we're going to walk along the sides here, down underneath this building here. Wow, it has seen better days. Look at this. Okay, let's see if we can peek into the windows. Of the office that was here when it was an active office where is it the office don't look like a whole lot's in there very very dark in there the building and it is padlocked for our security and people like myself that will be very interested in seeing what's in there. Okay, we're going to walk along the side. See the side in the back of this building. And here's the, the back side of the mill. It has been tremendously deteriorating over the years. So we're gonna walk a little bit towards it, being very careful that we don't step on anything. It's a shame, the age of this mill and how it just slowly has deteriorated over time. A historical landmark such as this. Definitely has been modernized throughout the years since it was built in 1790. We're going to go look at the back lake. And see what we have back there. Well, it looks like some, some kind of structure. Some kind of wench. The old back pond. There's another another structure back there. Not sure exactly what it looks for. And here's a view of the back section of this once very productive sawmill. And we're gonna 
not go any further because I'm not sure what's there and what I might step on and be very cautious. And then the river flows down. Okay. Here we are again. We're looking on the inside of this mill. As we zoom a little closer. Looks like these right here with some kind of chutes, maybe for water coming down, or maybe lumber or whatever they're producing at that time. Still has a lot of the old timber, probably date back from the original construction back in 1790. There's a peg type of construction and then some modernization in there too with regular 2x4s. So you have many years of modernizing, repairing, and keeping the structure active. Little view of the roof up top. You have cut lumber, cut trees, keeping the roof intact. It looks like eventually they did put a metal roof on. Alright, and we're going to go to another section. Okay, here we are in a different view of this back area. We're going to kind of see if we can get up a little higher here to See what we have. Very interesting. Some kind of chain, probably for dragon lumber. And there's the top of it. And that looks like a chute right over there. And those are those long shoots that go down. So that could be for lumber, could be maybe for water. I'm not 100% sure what it's for. We can only imagine there's the back building. And if you can look right in there, you see some kind of other metal conveyor. So this could be where they process all the lumber or maybe the saw blade itself is right in there. So let's try a different section. Alright, here we are at the back section. One of the back buildings. Definitely looks like there's a tree that fell down on it. And the main building and probably offices right over in the side there. We have various pipes underneath. Let's see what's underneath this. No, not a whole lot. Looks like it's been fixed up and shored up over the years. But it's definitely ready to fall down, fall apart. Wow, what a place. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and comments below. And please subscribe to my channel so you will get first dibs of all the new videos I will be downloading. And once again, thank you for watching.